Okay, so I recently posted a poll on Instagram asking, would you guys rather see a video that was helpful, like drugstore products that I love, or funny, like embarrassing myself by doing my makeup without a mirror? And the overwhelming result was 75% in favor of something helpful. So I'm going to do that today and the, this is not a sponsored video, um, all these products are things that I actually use, many of them in my professional kit over an expensive option. There's plenty of things that I've tried that work well and some of these things, and I'll point it out to you as I go, are better than the best, better than the most expensive, better than the best rated at Sephora and I'll touch on those in a minute. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation and I wear the shade 120 Classic Ivory and honestly this is a little bit too dark for me right now but in the summer this is perfect and I was able to make it work today with a bit of lighter concealer. Um, this foundation is as good as um, I put it in the same range as like the uh, HD foundation from Makeup Forever. This foundation you can wear it all day and it looks exactly as you put it on 10 hours before. I don't know about 24 hours, I've never actually done a 24 hour wear test, but I can attest that it works, that it looks amazing even after 12 hours. Um, I wore it when I was in Dominican with my husband almost the whole time and even after attending a wedding or going out, we did pictures on the beach, um, my makeup still looked flawless. Okay, so moving on to the next thing. Uh, one of my favorite brow gels is this one, which is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Boost and Set Volumizing Brow Mascara. Um, I'm wearing the color blonde and I love this. It is just as good as the Glossier one and it really sets your brows in place so that I like to have my brows really brushed up and this really gives you that like full brushed up vibe where some of the other ones I've tried you can brush it up and it doesn't really stay up. It'll gel them into sort of like place but it doesn't, it's not strong enough to hold them up and this one is. And you can build on it, that's the best thing. So I can I can do one coat of this, let it dry, and then go back over and just refill in spots where I need just a little extra help, and this will do that for me. Okay, next we have these um, highlighters, which is the one I'm wearing today from Joe Fresh, and these are unreal. They give you such a blinding highlight. And I'm wearing two colors right now, they mix beautifully together. These are really, truly um, a dupe for anything like Charlotte Tilbury or um, Becca, like any any of the best ones you've used. The only one I would say that it doesn't touch is still the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like those highlighters, nothing can beat them. But these are an amazing dupe for any of the other high-end ones. Next we have eyeshadow and one brand that is super reliable for eyeshadow is Quo. Quo is Shoppers Drug Mart's house brand and they really do make amazing buttery mattes and really good metallics. This one's called Sea Sun and Sand, but um, any of any of the Quo shadows you get will be reliable and will perform well. Okay, another amazing one that I use in my kit, Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil, and this one is Silky Nude, but I use Silky Nude and I also use black and brown in my kit for water lines and it really doesn't go anywhere. These are just as good um, as the Makeup Forever ones that I used to use all the time. I would definitely say this is an actual dupe for those. I completely stopped using those in my kit because they're like $25, I think, something like that, 18 to 25 something like that, and these ones are like three bucks. Honestly, Essence, for what you pay for, like this brand is unreal. Okay, last but not least, every makeup artist I know, probably every person I've ever done their makeup knows that I cannot say enough good things about the Maybelline Stay Matte Ink Super Stay Liquid Lips. This is the holy grail of liquid lips. This is better than YSL. This is better than Tarte or Tom Ford or any other liquid lips that people adore. This is, this is better. This goes on smoothly and it dries down to like a gel type of finish so that you don't get that flaky, cracky feeling that, that you get with liquid lipsticks so often. These wear beautifully. I have a girlfriend who's a makeup artist um, who told me that she did an underwater photo shoot and when the models went into the water, the only thing left on their face, the only thing the water hadn't taken off was these. I have them in every color in my kit. It is pretty much the only thing I reach for now. And I can honestly, when I put these on a bride or a bridal party, they're like, well, I need to touch this up. I'm like, maybe. 
but probably not because they are that good. They also mix really well together. So I probably have like seven or eight in my kit, but a lot of the nudes mixed with the pinks makes that perfect mauve color that all brides love. And um, honestly, I, I could go on and on. Like I really just cannot say enough good, enough good things about this liquid lip. This is the color I'm wearing right now and it's Seductress, number 65. Anyways, go get it. Get 10 of them. You won't be disappointed. Anyways, you guys, if you're into this kind of video where I go through some of my favorite products or if you want me to do like um, a must-haves every month, new things that I've tried that I love, maybe things I've tried that I didn't like this month, leave me a comment down below and I'll make that happen. And I probably will still be doing a no mirror makeup challenge, although I can't say it will look anything close to good. Anyways, you guys, thanks for coming back and I'll see you on the next one.